Hi, Box fans. Rick Tyler here, and uh, you see me in front uh, in front of you the double wheel kit uh, with the little suspension where we've set the wheels at an angle so it allows us to get the width on the base slightly further apart. And by tilting the wheels in at the top, it means we can clear the actual base of the feet, and there's not much in it. And how the suspension works as this compresses this arm pushes the wheel, the top of the wheel inwards, the base of the wheel outwards, and that means it, it definitely clears the bottom of this foot, because you can see there's not much clearance there. Um, if, however, people are taking immense amounts of uh, gear, um, what can happen is the wheels can pancake out a bit too far. That can be reduced by tightening up the shock absorber, but if you want wheels to be much straighter, there is a solution. So what I'm gonna do now is go through how you machine this, but it means buying two longer shock absorbers. These are 10 centimeter ones. The replacements would be 15 centimeters. And you would basically need to drill a new hole in this white uh, bracket. M6, 20 millimeters down from the bolt position that is currently in place. Um, and because this bolt is M6, you'll be measuring, if you took the, down, the, the bottom part of the hole and measuring 17 millimeters, drilling the hole, that'll give you two holes. So I'll get that machine done now. I'll video how I'm machining it, how I'm fitting it and doing it. And then we'll see the difference when I fit the, refit it with the longer shock absorbers. Right, um, having had that little bit of machining, you can see the new position of the uh, pivoting arm is 20 millimeters down from where it was. And now we've fitted a longer shock absorber and by causing that arm to drop down slightly, it has straightened the wheel. And this is possible because we fitted the longer shock absorber, I've now got much greater clearance of the bottom of the leg. So now 
this is actually in line with the leg, I've actually raised the clearance and by having this more vertical, I don't have to have this shock absorber as tight, which means I can take more loads and it will still be cushioning because now the, the leg will be going up and down. So not something you definitely need to do, but it's a modification that's there should you wish to. And um, hopefully someone out there has found that useful. And until the next video, tight lines. <laughs>